Hey toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today, they're here, they're here, Jurassic World Mashers. Come along and join the fun while I review these things with the tails and the claws. Alright, a little bit of fun there, but as you can see here, I do have the Jurassic World Hero Masher set. We've got the Indominus Rex in front of you, released by Hasbro in 2015. Now these are, of course, a very different type of masher from what I typically recover. They are more animal-based, or dinosaur-based in this case. So I'm really curious to see how the pieces and the joints differ from what we get with a typical superhero or transformer masher that I've covered previously. Now one thing to note about this box is that there is an interesting sort of try-me feature here at the top. As you can see, when I stick my finger in the hole on the front here, I push the fin or the spine on the back of the Indominus Rex and it does make the mouth open and close. There's no sort of lights or noise to go along with that, just an action feature, but it's still pretty cool that it's included. Alright toy fans, so this movie may still be a couple weeks away, but we've got the toy right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging for this figure. As you come down the front of this box, you do have the Jurassic World logo in the upper right. You've got a window box packaging that does have the Indominus Rex figure inside, as well as his opponent, the Velociraptor. You've got an image of a mashed up dinosaur there on the left, and then you do have the logo for Hero Mashers there towards the bottom. And as we flip this package around, you've got the Hero Mashers logo there on the upper left, and then you have an image of this Indominus Rex fighting the Velociraptor on the back. There's even another image that shows some action features of these toys. Then on the right hand side of the box you do have a complete lineup of all the figures currently available from this toy line. Alright guys, that's the packaging. Let's say we get these dinos out of the box and see what they're all about. Alright toy fans, so here we have the Indominus Rex and the Velociraptor out of the packaging. And these figures are pretty interesting. Now there are some failings on the Indominus Rex that I'll show you here in a second, but I think the real highlight of this box set is actually the Velociraptor. I'm going to start with that. He's got a very nice sort of sculpting for, for being a masher. You know, he's definitely animated or stylized, but I really like the way that he's come out. I like the way that they've sculpted the feet on this guy. He's got some nice paint here on the toenails or on the talons. His arms are nice and stubby, and they're able to hold accessories, which is pretty cool. I like that they've painted the eyes the way they have with the red and sort of the, the triangle there on the eye. And then I like that they've painted the sort of spikes here on the head. He's got an articulated jaw, as you can see here, that's actually been painted inside with the teeth and the pink inside of the mouth there. Really, I just think he's a pretty fun little dinosaur. He's even got some stripes here on the back. And all the paint has been applied very cleanly to this guy, so I'm very happy with that. The Indominus Rex, on the other hand, doesn't fare quite so well. Now, it is a bigger figure, which is pretty cool. And he's got some nice paintwork here on the head, but everywhere I look around this figure, you'll see here that the paint's not completely smooth around the, uh, the stripes here on the top of the head. There's a lot of paint mess and paint slop here. As you can see, dots here on the back of the figure, around here on the neck. As I come down the figure, I think it's cool that he's got the JW here on the hip. You guys may remember from the old uh, Kenner Jurassic Park line. I think it was Kenner who did it, that they had JP on the hip of all the dinosaurs. So... Pretty cool to see that sort of reflected on this figure, but then we have more paint slop here on the tail. The paint's not exactly clean between the spikes here on the back, and overall really just the paint's just kind of sprayed on, or I don't know, mispainted. I don't know what you'd say about that, but uh, it's not as clean as I'd like it to be. But then as we saw here in the packaging, you do have this uh, sort of mouth chomping motion, which is pretty cool. And you can see that there is paint inside the mouth here on the tongue, even on the roof of the mouth, and we have paint on the teeth, and the eyes are painted red, and again, it's a little sloppier on the edges of the eyes, but... Overall, though, I mean, it is a pretty cool sort of sculpt and design for a, a made-up dinosaur, as it were, and he, is, he does kind of tower over the Velociraptor, so it's pretty cool to have the two of these together, especially if uh, kids picking up this package, and they'll be able to bash these dinosaurs together or do whatever they'd like to using their imagination with these figures. The Indominus Rex versus the Velociraptor box that does come with a ton of accessories. And unlike what we saw with the Electronic Wolverine, I do feel like a lot of these pieces are actually justified for being in this box set and not things you're going to throw away right away. The first thing to mention is that there are these two sort of back spike pieces. Now these are designed for the Indominus Rex. He's got two holes on his back here and you can plug these fins or these spikes into the back of the dinosaur and really just kind of add some flair to your dinosaur, which I think is pretty cool. Go ahead and try this other one on here. And as you can see here, the colors don't really line up, but that's kind of the fun of this toy set is mixing and matching with other dinosaurs in the line. So you can make them look however you want. And then there is even an interchangeable head here. We have a Brachiosaurus head. And again, just like the other dinosaur heads, it is actually articulated in the jaw. Not too much though, but you can pull off one of these dinosaur heads if that's what you want to do. And then just plug this right on here and you have yourself a rather vicious looking Brachiosaurus. So that's kind of funny. And as you can see, it's even going off the camera. It's so tall. But then we also have these interchangeable feet. Now both of these feet actually have buttons on them, so the middle talon can move up and down, which I think is kind of cool. And then you'll see here that we have a set of fins for the Velociraptor. Now these I actually really like a lot. Uh, as you can see here, the Velociraptor's got two uh, holes on his back. You can go ahead and plug these fins in here, and they look just like this. Now this one doesn't connect as well as I'd like it to. It's not really attached on the front. But then we have this purple one here that actually fits very nicely into both holes. And again, you can just kind of add some flair to your dinosaur. Also what we have here is a... Uh, 
turkey leg or a, I don't know what you would call that, just a, a side of meat of some sort. Um, and then it even has a bite sculpted out of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, there is a peg in the bottom here, so you can make either one of these dinosaurs hold that meat if that's what you want them to do. A uh, little loose grip on that side, but here in the raptor's hands, let's go ahead and move him around. You can actually plug that into his hand, and he can walk around with his breakfast if that's what you want him to do. Also, because of the peg system that masters are known for having, you'll see there's these ports all over the figures. If I wanted to, I could just go ahead and plug this into his hip, and he can save the meat for later, or just act sort of as a an even better form of bait for any sort of Indominus Rex. So uh, a lot of fun you can have with that. And then finally, the most curious thing that these guys come with is this. Now, the box doesn't really identify what this is. I'm going to assume it's some sort of gun. Uh, it has a peg here on the side. It does fit, interestingly, into the Velociraptor's hands quite nicely. Now, I don't know if that's a spoiler for the movie. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But it'd be pretty interesting if Chris Pratt's character trains the Velociraptors to shoot. We know that they can turn doorknobs anyway. They are clever girls, after all. But that's really the extent of the accessories that you're getting with these guys. A lot of fun and a lot of play value to be sure. Alright guys, so if you're not familiar with Mashers and what they're all about, they are a toy line that allows you to disconnect your figure at the various joints and reassemble them with other figures in the wave. So we've got our Velociraptor here and our Indominus Rex. Let's go ahead and bring in all those other pieces that these guys came with and then we're actually going to disconnect these figures everywhere possible. For the Velociraptor, that means you can pull off his head, you can actually pull off each one of his arms, you can pull off the legs, and they just come apart just like this. They disconnect at the knee and at the hip. And then interestingly, you can also even disconnect this guy at the tail. And we're going to do the same thing with the Indominus Rex. We can go ahead and pull off his head. We can pull off his arms, pull off his legs, again at the hips and then at the knees. And then you can even pull off this dinosaur's tail. Now looking at this one here, it looks like, okay, it just comes apart here at the torso. So now that we have everything completely separated, let's go ahead and build some sort of wacky dinosaur. Um, I want to go ahead and start with the Velociraptor body. I actually kind of like that body. We're going to put the Brachiosaurus head on there because why the heck not? Just plugs right in here. Peg system just locks right in. And then let's go ahead and give him the purple back spines because I did like those. And let's give him those big gray feet, but we do need to give him hip joints. So let's get these gray ones off of the Indominus Rex. We're going to go ahead and plug those onto either side here. And then they just join in very nicely just like that. And then you can grab these feet pieces and plug them in. There we go. And just attach them just like this. And then, let's see here, I don't want my dinosaur to have a tail, let's give him a head on the other end, I think that'd be kind of funny. So there we go, we've got a two-headed dinosaur, and now we have to go ahead and give him the arm. So let's go ahead and give him one Velociraptor arm, where are these things here? And we're going to give him one Indominus Rex arm, because then we'll just have a completely crazy sort of dinosaur. Where's the other Indominus arm here? We're going to go ahead and plug that in, and as you can see here, with all the different pieces that this guy comes with, you can make a pretty crazy looking dinosaur. And of course, just like with the superhero mashers, the more figures you have in the line, the more options you're going to have to mix and match and create your own custom superhero, super dinosaur, whatever you want to make. Mashers are really a toy line that allows you to run wild with your imagination. Height-wise, we can see that Indominus Rex does stand right about 6 inches tall, and the Velociraptor stands just a little bit up under 5 inches tall. For some size comparison, here they are compared to the Marvel Superhero Mashers Wolverine figure. And here they are compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. What in blazes? Uh, dunk. Ha, ah, that one's for you, Glenn. Wait, I'm gonna kill you. Gotta catch me first. Doop, 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 doop. All right, toy fans. Well, that's my review of the Jurassic World Hero Masher set featuring the Indominus Rex versus the Velociraptor released by Hasbro in 2015. Overall, this is really a pretty cool masher set, but I am disappointed by the quality control on the Indominus Rex. There is a lot of paint smearing or splatter, whatever you want to call it, just unclean paint lines on this dinosaur, and I think it really detracts from the appeal of that figure. The Velociraptor, on the other hand, is perfect. I can't wait to find the 1099 red version of this guy. I think it actually probably would look cooler than this yellow one. I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled. But this is a really great set, and sort of a fun and inventive, imaginative way, if you will, for Hasbro to sort of expand the Masher's line. I think Jurassic World is a really great license to get for this toy line. Well, that's my review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Rawr.